Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, A Chicken or Homestead. So I just want to start off by saying that I haven't really been active in making videos lately because there's just been a lot of stuff going on. Um, I've been picking up a lot of hours at work and I'm also doing like the home renovations um, right now. So I haven't had like a whole lot of areas that have been okay enough for me to get on video. Um, and I'm definitely not making videos outside right now because it's winter and it's cold. Um, so everything has pretty much been slowing down right now anyways because it's winter and I'm not spending a lot of time outside. But because I haven't um, been doing a lot, um, I allowed my loofah to dry out. Um, I was going to experiment with it a little bit and try like a different couple... Uh, a couple different ways to dry it out but because like I said everything going on um, I kind of just let them do their own thing um, so I'm gonna make a video on how to like open these up which is gonna be something new for me because this one kind of just fell apart I didn't open it up um, so we'll do that together and then we'll collect the seeds I don't know if you guys can see this these seeds here but these ones um, fell out on their own when they're black they're dried out and mature um, I don't know if you guys can see those in there but those are all the seeds in there there are a lot of seeds in just one loofah um, so I already do have some loofah seeds saved that someone gave me which is what these are grown from um, I'm gonna do the seeds that I saved and keep them separate and see how these ones grow from seeds that I saved um, this past year. So these loofah, I probably picked them off, I want to say, I want to say in like October, um, the end of October, um, mid beginning of November, I picked these off of um, the vine before it started you know, molding, um, and frost coming out. So, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have nine loofah. Some of them are pretty small. I think this one and this one are my biggest ones. So I'm really excited to see what the sponge looks like in these ones. Um, before we get into that though, I just wanted to talk to you guys briefly about the conditions that your loofah needs to be in for you to like dry them out successfully. Um, I've had some people reach out to me and ask me how I do it um, because they're started molding. So you want to make sure there's like really good airflow because if these start to mold, you have to throw them out because a moldy seed is a bad seed. That's just going to create bacteria. It's going to kill the entire plant. And if one gets moldy and you put it with all the other ones, you have to throw them all out. And like, that's your whole harvest. So you want to make sure like you're looking at them. Um, you don't want to have like a loofah to dry out that you notice has a crack in it because that will mold. Um... What I did is I placed these on my countertop on um, like a baking sheet, like one of those little elevated baking sheets with the rungs on it, just so there was like a really good airflow. Um, I put them out of reach of my cat so my cat didn't like chew on them or anything. I did have one loofah that started to have a crack that I didn't see it had a crack in it when I um, left it um, to dry out. And... What happened was it, it started molding and you smell that it smelled bad and I got to it before it started spreading everywhere. So I, I did have to throw that loofah out. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I only did this one loofah that was already, the skin was already off of it. Um... That was actually like pretty difficult to get all the seeds out and I really don't even think I didn't get all the seeds out of it. I can still see like a few seeds in there. Um, really had to like get it moving and crunch it. Um, it doesn't matter if you go like this. It's, it's a sponge. You can wet it and it'll puff right back up. It's meant to have that done to it. You can be kind of rough with it. 
Um, one thing I just wanted to stop so that I could point out to you guys is that I noticed there's two different looking seeds. So in the whole pile, this black seed is black all the way. It's nice and thick. It has like substance to it. This seed is like kind of black, but it's like white. And it's like really thin. Did you see how easy I broke that? So these seeds are not viable at all. These these like ones with like the um, nude coloring and the black. So I'm going to leave these here because obviously I'm going to be putting more seeds in there. But then at the end of this video, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to sort through the seeds and get like the black thick ones because these are the ones that I'm going to be growing um, this spring. Um, so let's try and open another one. So when, whoop, that just popped right off. So when these are drying out, at first they're like kind of heavy, but they start to get like really light. And if you shake it, hmm, that one's open. So let me try one that's closed. If you shake it. Cool. it's like your own maraca if you shake it you can start to hear like the seeds um being loose in there before they were like held in there um but that's how you like one sign um that you can tell that these are like dried out so like you saw earlier like this top just like it popped right off so i'm actually gonna put these all in here just so we can see like the seeds that come out of each one. I'll have to vacuum after I'm done. Um, but I'm gonna put this upside down and get the seeds out of this one. See how they just like fall right out. gonna peel it but I guess I'm just gonna crack it and see how it goes from there it's actually really fun I've, I've been waiting to do this since I planted them last year. Growing loofahs obvious, uh, was probably, these were probably like my prize possession this year. Nothing else in my garden grew very well because I didn't take great care of it. Um, but I got a great yield from the loofah. So... Yeah, this one's, um, this one's a little bit thicker, has a little more body to it, but I'm sure once I, like, crunch it, it'll be smaller. We'll see how many seeds I can get out of this one. So just like the other one, I can definitely see that there are some viable seeds and there's a lot of seeds that are not viable at all. I don't know, maybe if I picked these loofah too early, if they didn't get a long enough growing cycle, if I started the seeds too early so they didn't get enough, a long enough growing season. Um, these loofah do better. They honest, Honestly, they do better with like a warmer climate on a longer growing season. There's actually still like a shit ton of seeds in here. I have to like watch a couple more videos and see how people get these seeds out. Like see, they're just, I don't know if you can see that, but they're just really stuck into the side. 
Most of the ones that are not coming out, I think, are the seeds that are not viable. Because they're still grown into everything. So, I don't know. Like, can I go in there and break it up? Am I supposed to, like, wet the loofah? These are all good questions that I need answered. If anyone has any experience, let me know. I mean, it feels really awesome. If anyone collects their loofah seeds a different way, you think it's, like, better, once again, let me know. Honestly, I really don't think these loofah, like, grew to their the highest potential that they could um this year i i put a lot of rabbit poop in my garden we'll do one more i put a lot of rabbit poop in my garden so <laughs> the sound is freaking my cat out I don't know if you can see him over here. <laughs> What's that pumpkin? Oh. Does this sound freaking you out? Ow, I think it's actually sharp. I did see a couple videos where people like watered it down and soaked them before they took these off after they let them dry out. Maybe that loosens everything and makes it easier for like the seeds to come out. watch a couple more videos and see how some other people do it um because there's a lot of seeds in here that just like didn't come out I mean this was like a really good experiment I'm still gonna try and like use these for something um they're not as big and thick as I would have hoped um to be able to like use them to like wash your dishes I mean I could use like the entire thing if I really wanted to but I was hoping that I could have like cut them like the ones you see in store. But there's always this year. You know, everything is a learning curve. I'll just have to do some more research and see what I can come up with. So right now, these are my three loofah. Um, I know a lot of people will actually put these in the wash machine and put a little bleach in there. So that's how... Um, like regular loofah in the store you see you get their like clean like white colored appearance um I mean if I'm just gonna wash dishes with them I don't really care what color they are um but maybe if I get good at, at growing them to like a decent size um 
I could start cut, cutting some up and selling them and I would probably um, see if I could bleach them at that point. Um, I do have some seed collection videos that I have to do so I will try and upload this video and then hopefully I can do a couple more seed collection videos. Um, they're just like some plants that I picked um, before the end of the season um, last fall and I still need to collect the seeds on those. And I also have a couple other videos that I have to do because I want to sort my seeds. I got a couple seeds from a few different um, places so they came in the mail. Alrighty, thanks for watching. See you next time. So just like really quickly, I went through the seeds. These are all like non-viable ones. I did notice that there were black ones, like through and through black. But they're, once again, like really thin. So those are not viable at all. They're not going to do anything for us. Um, so I kind of just went through and out of three loofahs, like these are all the hopefully viable loofah seeds. So that's like a really great haul, I feel like. Even just one of these will grow multiple loofah plants. So, yeah, I'm excited. Anyone want loofah seeds?